Hello guys, hello friends. Look what I get here. It got broken last fall time. Had a lot of snow and it's come earlier. Leaves was still on trees and was way too heavy. And it broke down. But it's still considered as a green wood. Because it's still like nice and heavy, lots of moisture in it. Uh, we're gonna try to do spoon, you see? This is all kind of colors here. That's what caught my eye. I'm hoping this is strong enough. It feels like it's harder than normal wood. And let's do, this is nine inches long and it's roughly about, I would say two inches in diameter. I had to keep cutting that log for about two feet until I finally get rid of that soft damage spot because it goes right in the middle and I don't want to have it in my work. And as I've been told you before... <laughs>
Okay. This is the spoon I carved. Like you can tell it's all raw, but this is pretty much the shape of a spoon you want to achieve. After that, it's just sanding, making it ready. Probably gonna work a little bit on, on the handle to make it smoother. Like just to avoid extra sanding time because sanding is a time consuming. But that's how you do spoon within an hour. Another important stuff I forgot to mention you guys. Before you dry it out completely and finish your spoon, keep it in a Ziploc. It will slow down drying process, it will be more like I'm usually close it like three quarter, three quarter of the lock size and leave one quarter open and just roll it in. It will allow us escape extra moisture, but at the same time, it's not gonna dry this fast and not gonna crack the spoon. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to boil it in a vegetable oil. Uh, I've been talking in another video about it. Uh, that's gonna help us to displace water with the oil and dry it out. It's like quicker dry it out. We're gonna do that. I promised last video to boil the spoon to show you how do I get rid of moisture quick. And that's what I'm gonna do. And that's what I do before sanding because uh, it's gonna be difficult to sand when it's green wood and when you dry it out it will go much quicker and it will be better polishing as well okay let's go inside and do our spoon boiling okay what we have we have oil i'll just add a little bit more it's nothing special it's just regular cooking oil doesn't matter brand like honestly guys cheaper better The reason I'm using cooking oil because it's obviously food safe means you can use the spoon after after you finish it. Like I carved this spoon. This is birch, and I carved it about two years ago, and uh, we've been using it ever since. I wouldn't say I eat it like every day. But occasionally, here and there, I'm using it. I don't know, just for fun. It feels nice. And yeah, you see birch normally it's white. But this one become like almost chocolate color. That's because of the burning. And here we go. We're going to dump this one into the oil. This is the honey spoon. You see how long it is? Like the reason... For this being so long, because of a jar is deep, and when you need to scoop your honey and keep your hands clean, I do those like I have different different style. Here's another one. This one is polished. You can see the shine on it. Yeah, this is also birch, and the handle is crooked, but that's because I gotta follow the grain. I wanted to see what birch wants to be like when when I carve it and it shows me that it needed to be bent left and right a bit it's, that's why and it looks pretty funky and I like it too and when I look at this this is some sort of this part nearby note nearby note and it gives you those rainbow kind of looking wood Okay, go back to boiling. And after boiling, you don't need to keep it in a Ziploc. When it gets hot enough that you can see bubbles coming out of your spoon, that's where you basically turn it down your heat, like to 50%. Sometimes I do even 30. Like, all we need to achieve is just keep bubbling without getting overheated. Because what happens is going to get dark outside and start literally burning the wood gonna be destroyed by oil and that's not what we want we want to make sure that all the moisture like it's get heated right through and all the, all the moisture got evaporated and displaced with the oil okay here's the process 
Tell me what you think about it. If it's something you would consider doing or it looks silly to you. But I've done it several times and I am happy with results. Like I said, green wood turns to no normal dry wood quick. I tried microwave tricks. You probably saw those on YouTube. Uh, didn't work well for me. I burned the wood and my fire alarm was like screaming like crazy. You can tell probably there's a bubbling starts around the spoon. I don't know if you can see it. We'll try to show you. See? That's where I start turning down my heat. Now I went only like quarter down, like three quarters on, like 75%. And if it's gonna start bubbling in more, I will make it a little bit more down. It'll take a bit of a time to boil it like that. But like I said, you're gonna be happy. You will be happy with the result. As you can tell, bubbling is almost stopped and it gets darker. You see, like wood turns into like chocolatey color. I would say this is what we were trying to achieve. Oil goes. Oh, I need to grab something. I just need to move my oil away from here. This oil can be reused. second time like you don't have to throw it out because nobody like it's not like fries or whatnot okay this is our spoon it's hot now you can see this is like thoroughly rough it's light guys it lost like half of the weight it's very light okay next stage is sending Thank you.